Got it. There you go. Got it. Ooh, that was loud. Did you hear that? <laughs> I saw it on your face. You could hear a crack, right? This is Dr. Doug Willen. Thanks for joining us today. Today I'm at Rising Star Horse Rescue in Connecticut. It's about an hour from where I live. This is my third time here and today I'm back. I'm going to see a few horses today that you'll get to see in coming weeks as separate videos. Rising Star currently has somewhere between 25 and 30 horses and some of them they adopt out. Some get to live their lives here for the rest of their lives. They have both surrender and rescue horses here. They also do riding lessons for children and adults and they have a great volunteer program. So if you are interested in donating to them or getting any of their merchandise, their URL or web link is in the description box below. So check it out. Uh, it's just a beautiful place and I'm glad to be here volunteering again. So we have Dakota back. Dakota is 19 years old. I've worked with Dakota once before. I'll leave a link to Dakota's other video in the description box below if you want to see. And I think that was over a year ago, year and a half ago maybe, that I worked with Dakota. Beautiful American paint, as you can see. 19 years old. Um, what a coat. You are such a beauty. Do you know that? Do you remember me? Probably not. Year and a half is too long. I really like optimally to work on a horse once a month, but I haven't been back to this farm in a while. And, um, but here I am today, so we'll pick it up again. Um, you know, I'm just gonna just start to let Dakota take me in a little bit. I have Sam helping me today. Sam is a volunteer here. You've been working here for how many months? Uh, about six. Six months, okay. And have you worked much with Dakota, or is this kind of a newer horse for you? Uh, Dakota, like Raisin, I've been working with pretty decently. Okay. So let's, uh, I know Dakota's focused on munching, but let me see if I can start connecting to Dakota. Can I work on you a little bit, Dakota? What do you think about that? What I want to do is just check you, okay? So let's walk away from that fun, tasty food. Come on, let's move him up a little bit. Come on. There you go. And bring them around this way. Mm. Come on. There we go. I'm going to start and feel his cervicals. And what I notice right away is his left side's really tight. The, the right side's smooth, no problem. I come down here, I start at the pole, run my hand, glide my hand softly down through here. And all of this is nice and uniform. It's not lumpy, bumpy. I don't feel any real tight muscles here. I'm just following him. He's very interested in that grass. I'm up at the pole now, checking the atlas. But what I did notice is on the left side, he's pretty tight. Let's switch spots, okay, Sam? Hey there, my name is Dr. Doug Willen. You might know me from a YouTube channel, Animal Cracker. I'm here with Wanda today. And this is a product I developed for horses called Collagen for Horses. It's 100% pure, high-grade collagen. I made this product, Collagen for Horses, because I work with horses and I see horses needing collagen as well as humans. Humans take collagen, horses need it too. It helps the ligaments, the muscles, all the connective tissue. It's great for the hoofs, the coat, the teeth even. So an older horse, a younger horse that's developing, a colt, a filly would do really well with it too. Um, you put this in their food every day and you'll start to see a real change after a couple of weeks, even a month or two. Give it a try. And we're gonna come to that side now, see if I can get his attention for a little bit. But let's see where I found it. It's right here. So this is C3. And I'm gonna get started on you, is that okay? You don't remember me, do you? So I'm gonna just hold this muscle for a minute, see if he gives it to me. 
just going to hold this for you, okay? I want to just relax it. I'm looking at his eyes. He's very suspicious of me now. He's a little worried. His breathing is not relaxed. But maybe I can win him over today. Let's see if I can. I'm going to start anyway because we have a lot of horses to see today. And so I have to kind of keep going too. And I'm going to pick my spots, pick, pick my spots to um, slow down, let him get used to me, but also keep working. So I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on C3. I'm a little high on C3. I'm almost at C2. I'm at the body of C3. There, he's starting to relax a little now. All right. Very interested in munching. All right, Dakota, Dakota, I'm going to adjust C3 now, okay, because it's sticking out a little to the left. So I'm going to just kind of do some work on you. All right, you ready, sir? All right, let's do it. Let's pick your head up. Go. No, 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 no. Come on. You're being a silly boy. There you go. Got it. Ooh, that was loud. Did you hear that? <laughs> I saw it on your face. You could hear a crack, right? All right. There's licking. And eating food. Okay, that one in. <laughs> so that was kind of, I just saw it, so I did it. He's very distracted, as you can see. So I'm gonna just keep working around his, his eating. And I'm feeling down through the withers first. T3 through T8, he feels really good here. I'm running my fingers down these long muscles of the spine. Uh, spinalis, longissimus, iliocostalis are the three bands of muscles that run down here, creating some of the top line and support, the nuchal ligament. I feel something off right here. So I keep rubbing down as I'm talking, I'm thinking and looking, looking with my fingertips. If I look, I don't see so much. So I usually look away to see it. I feel, or I can see much more when I don't look. And right here is, I just keep coming to that spot. You see this hair sticking up right here. I think there's a misalignment here and it's affecting all the uh, superficial nerves coming down because it's pinched here. And it'll sometimes affect the, the texture of the hair. So he's got this most wonderful coat, but here it gets rough. And it's right off that vertebra that's out. Isn't that interesting? So here's the vertebra, and then there's little uh, intercostal nerves that come down here between the ribs, inter between costal rib. And look, it gets all this rough here. I don't just mean the tuft or the calic of hair, but I just mean this whole quality of hair is off right where that pinched nerve is. So I'm going to adjust that next. Can I get this for you while you're eating? Would that be all right? So here, I'm going to set up on that one. Actually, come around and you shoot me across. So here I am. And this is, here's the sacrum, here's the tuber sacralis, here's L6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's T18, so it's the thoracolumbar junction. Big breath in. Blow it out. That made him stop eating. Okay, what do you think of that? Oh, nice. All right. I'm putting some pressure in here. Getting him to move his body.
Now you could see, can you see the bottom line of his belly with the camera where my hand is? So I'm gonna wave his belly and right here it's stuck. So I get a nice wave, 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 and stuck. Let's keep going. There's a good butt tuck. Do you see it pull up? Relax. Let's do one more. Good. Nice. But I'm stuck here. So I'm gonna go get my bail. Maybe he'll let me get up on it. He's very focused on his food. There's not a lot of food out here. It's very short grass. Do you see this thing? I just gotta get that thoracolumbar junction. So I already did it lateral to medial. T18 spinous was left, but here's the other one. This whole area is stuck. Got it. I'm gonna do sacral base posterior it's while I'm up here. So the first thing I do is I find the tuber sacralis. Then I come in between, it's kind of narrow on a horse. <clears throat> Got it. That's nice. Okay. Let me feel you back here. Nice. Hamstrings. Good. All right. Look at you. How your ribs pushing into each rib and he's off. All right. I already like his set up now. His, this top line is nice. He was a little saggy before. Like, well, I shouldn't talk, but you know, his belly was sagging out a little bit can I say? We both get that sometimes, right? But by adjusting the sacrum, getting the pelvis set, and um, also the thoracolumbar junction, he's gonna get a better lift and carriage, and his top line will be strong but relaxed. Uh, he doesn't have any problem with relaxing. Look, his neck just likes to come down, no problems. So we're not worried about that with him. Um, what a pretty horse though, right? So I'm gonna do a little lateral tail pull, which I sometimes do to just open up the base and get him to activate his glutes a little bit, activate his hips. And just a little bit, I counter push into his hip. Let him go. Gonna look at his. Uh, I want to look at his uh, hip canal. He looks a little low on the left, so I am gonna see if he needs an AS ilium on the left. Come around this way. Hi, babe. I'm gonna do this spot if you let me, okay? Gotta wait a second. He should be ready now. Huh. What do you think? Can I do your AS ilium on the left? What do you think about that? You're mad because I made fun of your belly. Okay, my belly sticks out too. Okay, sorry if I hurt your feelings. There's the spot though, that's what I want to do. So here you can see the shape of the bone here. And I want to set it back up to let me, but he's not going to let me right now. So his ilium on the left went ventrally and is down a little low. And I want to bring it back up to here. So it's low and forward. Look, my belly's sticking out now. And I lift it up and back. 
Now he's a quadruped, of course, so I have to use his own body weight to do that. Come on now, you ready? Come on, Dakota, let's get this one. Back left, all right, it's gonna help. <clears throat> Got it. All right, you're done. That was it. See what that feels like. Walk around a little bit. Let's see what, what he thinks about. Give him a second, because that was a lot. You can almost hear that shift into place. All right, you're okay. Circles feel good. Check your TMJ. You got a left TMJ. Can I get that, or is that too much for you today? It's tender, right? That's you didn't even want me touching that. Right in there. Okay. A little slack. One more time. Okay, that's better, right? I think we're gonna finish on that today. I think that's enough. Thanks everybody. Leave Dakota a comment. <clears throat> Got it. There you go. Got it. Ooh, that was loud. Did you hear that? <laughs> I saw it on your face. You could hear a crack, right? Mm -hmm. All right, there's licking. <laughs>